Aren't the robot one by one? I thought, just like, one? I I thought, I thought oh. it was going to be the fanfic he wrote where Sakurai visits him. Um, that's a little That's a little bit too personal. I don't oh, know. I am. <laughs> anyway, getting into this game. So the point is that John hates the matchup, but lately has kind of had Dill's number. Mm -hmm. I know the last time they played, John took it. So let's see if maybe Dill has gone in, made some adjustments, figured out what she needs to be doing differently in order to just, you know, avoid dropping to John every week. I mean, absolutely. And we can see that definitely coming to a play. Already trying to keep in a consistent kind of like, you know, East, you know, momentum, but still is just going to have 85% on the board from John, not even with the breathing. Hello. Okay. Ooh. Not going to get anything off of that, but John is going to get a little bit of aggro. I don't know. Is this what we're going to be feeling for the vibe today? Oh. Ooh. No. Oh. Stop on him, period. That's, that's what happens when you aggro. You aggro, you die. You unalive. <laughs> Reverse you, live. You no live no more. Bye. Down air. Down air. Oh, good tag. Oh, wow. Ooh. That was actually that was pretty cool, actually. All right. <laughs> you got it's, it, numbers. It's the offstage game for me. Um, can we talk about that? Because that was really good. Even though it didn't work out the first time, maybe you would try it a second time. You can dust it off and try again, period. All right, we're having good play right now from both of them, honestly, but Numbers has just been in command of the close quarters, sort of the close quarters combat that's happening here. Ooh. A little bit too hungry for the pressure, and as a result, he's off stage. Can he make it back here without getting hit by Rob's big hitboxes? He does. Wow, honestly, Numbers is looking really good right now, not getting caught in disadvantage. Imagine having an arm that can kill a robot at... I don't know. I was like the fear Super that John tag. doesn't have. It's the power of yoga, dude. The power of breath. The power of yoga. I don't even know. Did breath have, of fitness. Did he have deep breathing for that F tilt? I don't even. Know. It doesn't matter yeah. because the breath of fit. It doesn't matter. I, I, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I've been watching a little bit too much Demon Slayer. Um, yeah. Uh, why? 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 Anyways. <laughs> it's a mediocre shonen. Come on, let's go. Anyway, back to this game. <laughs> we'll fight later. Uh, back to this game here. John, once again, with a nice lead, but this is the sort of situation where Rob is a gyro in hand at the mm -hmm. ledge. Uh, you could die at zero. Mm -hmm. Like, that's just what your life entails. I absolutely want to see John die again. At what percent was it the first stop? John dies at the end, dude. John is not the hero you thought he was. It's a movie, right? Am I correct in remembering that that is a movie? I believe so. I don't know. The only movie I'm seeing right now is still getting down tilted into death. Wow. Was that even deep breathing? Numbers has just been killing Dill without deep breathing. I mean, dude, take a breath. Okay, I don't even know. If that's yeah, there's no deep breathing, breathing involved in this. Normally, down tilt kills with deep breathing. That's like the entire, like, that's usually what you see with it. Was that some questionable DI? No, it looked like it's just an outright kill screen. Oh no. Well, anyways, what do you think that Mista wants to do better? Because she definitely had a really good like first stock right there. But then John said, well, at the same time, that first stock was kind of given to her. You know, numbers overextended like that. Honestly, just numbers has been like commanding things all the time and it's really when he is on top of her like look at this he's putting up this shield pressure completely uncontested like so many of these kills actually have been from the shield pressure like i believe the oh yeah that was really good though um i mean right he, I, like i think that's the big thing is that numbers has just been getting into dill's face and dill hasn't really found a way to especially the cross-ups that's the mm -hmm. thing like numbers has been going for cross-ups maybe get gyro in hand because Gyro can be a decent out of shield option, mm -hmm. but it's like Rob not really known for the out of shield option besides like up smash, which is not that fast. So I'm gonna be completely honest. This is kind of reminiscent of like a Tilde and Dill set. You know, a lot of the time we see you know Tilde up in Dill's face, and sometimes she just doesn't really know what to do about it. Yeah. So I feel like maybe we might see a little bit like more of like Dill kind of learning how to actually play around. You know. A lot of, I, you know, aggressiveness that we've yeah. been seeing from John. I think effective keep out is going to be the name of the game right now. Uh, oh, look at that, though. Numbers with that gyro able to convert into all of this percent. He's oh. looking very good right now. Oh, where are you going, buddy? <laughs> oh. This is, okay. So, 
the way I kind of feel about this right now is kind of like, just imagine getting hit in the face by like, you know, that strong arm that we were talking about again, and then it like almost taking out away half of your health because it's literally a, just a little bit scary. I'm gonna be completely honest because just oh, that was just terrifying right now. Like this is this is a horrible. Like right now, Dill has the lead, but. <laughs> I do not think she is comfortable at this point in time. Ooh, I like this though. He was saying how, oh, you know, Numbers has been getting into his face. We're seeing a lot more dashbacks. We're seeing a lot more going back, giving a little bit of space, but baiting Numbers into going and uh, misspacing the moves. Right there, actually, I was saying how that's one of the only out, uh, out of shield options that Rob has. Great recognition from Dill that that down air was unsafe enough that the up smash would actually land. Absolutely, and now we're in a lead for Miss Dill over here and just trying to pile on a little bit more damage. This is kind of where I feel like, you know, if Dill can kind of contain this lead and kind of keep a little bit of, you know. Oh. Is that the first time I've ever heard that? What was it? Is that Rob's death sound off the top? I've never, uh, I've never heard that. Wow. Oh. <laughs> I, I, was, I was a little bit, you know, Surprised at the app, so but you were surprised at Rob's uh, animation when he gets the star KO. That's the, it's the voice line. That's dead numbers. No. no, wow. That so Rob side B really good base knockback, really bad knockback growth, which means it scales really well with rage. So with zero rage, kind of has a little bit of trouble actually killing in those situations. Absolutely, and wow. seeing John at ledge, this is a little bit. You know, it, it's always scary because there is the off chance that John might die. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Period. You know, I I'm gonna be completely honest. Now it's looking like it's <gasps> looking like the oh. aggression that you thought it's not working out no more because now John can die any second right now if Miss Dill like she presses a button, he's dead. No more, no more John. John unlive. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is getting a little scary going off stage. I will say that if Numbers manages to get a kill off stage, that would even things up so well. In fact, right here, right now, if he gets deep breathing, which ooh, he's not actually really going for. That's something about this matchup, is I guess because he recognizes that Rob is a zoner that kind of beats zoners, he can't really just like charge deep breathing across the stage so freely. Um, like, look at that. Yeah, he had to give up all that space, and now he has to get in. But with deep breathing, can he actually maybe find the kill here? It's like taking it took too much time. Oh, no, this is getting a little scary. That almost killed. That's so crazy. Oh, wow. Okay, so we're gonna. Oh. oh. Yeah, even if Numbers manages to take this stock, which he's still struggling mm -hmm. to do, he's then at 135. How would he even, like, you know, as much as he can heal up, how would he even. Oh. Uh, just arm in the face. Bye. Yeah. You know, it feels like the really big adjustment that Dill has made. Uh, she's not holding shield anymore. Mm -hmm. She was getting caught in shield a ton in that last game. And, oh, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye. That's fine. Didn't want to deal with it. Get at it. Did we get the immediate run back? I kind of missed it. Um. <laughs> what? at us. Make sure you hydrate, guys. Oh, wait. Oh, 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 that is, that is deep eye contact. Just telling you to hydrate, and if you don't hydrate, yeah, guys, you won't get a hydrate. Do you want to hydrate. Do you want a downer to the face? Do you want your back to get broken by Rob Downer? Stop the battle! No. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> then it's just. <laughs> this is Devin uh, just putting this on loop. The rest of the the rest of the Xeno stream is actually just going to be Dill looking into the camera whilst drinking mm -hmm. intensively while she beats up John. Because I mean, if we have any semblance of what happened that last game, I would definitely love to see Miss Dill just get. 58 damage and ready to kill John yeah. at 66. This is definitely a, 
it's a thing. It's yeah. a thing that exists. At the same time, I'm really curious to see what adjustments John is going to be making in this game here. Oh, that was really interesting that he went for that option and immediately follows up with a spot dodge. That really should have been Dill reacting and punishing, but I guess she's just a little bit, you know, wants to be more careful, doesn't want to extend it. She's not really confident that a move is going to land. I feel like John isn't really concerned about like the space he's kind of controlling, only because like yeah, it's good to be, you know, very aggressive. But a lot of the times, if you're kind of just not really cognizant of the pressure that you're kind of putting and what it does, you end up in situations like that where you reel your yeah. head back and you're like, why did I fall for that? I mean, that's actually the second time he's fallen for that this set alone. Mm. I believe one of the uh, stocks in game one was from that drop zone side B. And it's with the great job cleaning up the stock right there and with deep breathing in effect, he's actually mainly just going to use it to avoid getting hit by Rob. As I say that, gets hit by Rob. Period. Do you not want to get hit by Rob? Um, I, some people are into it. I know. Not, not my thing. How can you be into a robot? A robot that is built like a literal twig with the base of a freaking cat uh, hole. I don't is, get it. Let me just say, he's pineapple shaped. No, no not pineapple. Pineapple? Pear are we he, SpongeBob? He is, no, he is pear shaped. That's what I'm getting at here. Very, look at that thin waist. Okay. Nice. Um, <laughs> I'm scared. Uh, um, Devin. <laughs> legally, you can kick me out now. <laughs> and it's looking like Mr. wants to kick. John out because John yeah. is at 136 and this aggression that he's been trying it's not working out too well. It's just that I feel like d the main thing is that Dill not just shielding anymore. Dill realizing that you know she has to be moving, giving space backwards, and throwing out hitboxes to actually shut down John's attempts to get in. And between those adjustments, that's where all of a sudden once more John really struggling to get anything done. Did you see the ball get sent back by Jairo? Yeah. Excuse me? It's it's Wibbly Gyro, it's spinning. It's it's spinning. Okay. Miss Queen Dill has that much power over her gyro Ooh. that it has the power to almost get her killed. I don't know. Never mind. I lied. Done. Bye. It, <laughs> what? Oh. Yeah, you saw he threw out that sun salutation, maybe hoping that she would air dodge. Did not give it to him, and as a result, John is actually the one who takes, loses that stock. Oh no, oh my god, that grab was so important because the gyro was right behind him. We've seen what Dill can do when he's, when she sandwiches somebody between, you know, the rock and the hard place. So, the fact that John not only avoided that, but cleaned up that stock soon after. We have a neck and neck super even game right now between these two. Absolutely, and I feel like John is probably still, like, adjusting to kind of the idea of how he wants to go about it. He knows, like there, how he got that Nair running in. He wants to choose those specific times that he actually, you know, wants to in order to get things like, you know, Nair, you know, deep breathing, F-tilt, a lot of those things. Oh, oh. that was oh. really cute right there. Didn't end up getting the follow-up off of that up to, uh, the up air. Oh, but still some nice damage. These two have been sort of trading back and forth, but right now, Dill is the one caught at the corner, caught trying to recover, and John with the beautiful deep edge guard. We had not seen that. Micro spaces around the forward air. Let's get a replay on that. That was incredible. Just weaved right past the hitbox. Okay, so this was the last stock here. Yeah, gets Dill off stage. Great job just avoiding that. And uh, look at this. The forward air came out, I believe. How? We? How did that miss? I'm, I'm actually, I'm just like, wow, great micro spacing. No, that's actually, <gasps> hold on a second. Hold on, that's li Why did they animate him like that? What, what is it? Go back, I'm gonna go back a frame here. Wait, okay. I went back too many frames. The, oh. <laughs> we did crunch, she did some mid-air crunches to stomp on this robot's head.